Hi, I'm Peter Ryan. I'm here to talk today about the new Sassol Edition 5, which we're really excited about. I think the, the most fun thing about the book, like any bird book, is the artwork. Sassol 5 features two new artists, but also many new images by Norman Arlott. We've been extremely fortunate to have Norman's support since the very beginning of the project because it allows new species to be added without any jarring changes in artistic style. It's been absolutely wonderful working with the new artists on the book. Fancy Peacock's just done an amazing job with the seabirds. My main task as, the, uh, as one of the contributing illustrators to Cecil 5 was the, the seabirds. So this was a monumental effort and I ended up doing just over 400 illustrations to, to depict the, the 81 species. Um, so in addition to your standard up and under wings, we've also got a close-up of uh, the head of each species to show important facial details and, and the bull structure. And then we've got lots of sideline um, thumbnail images to show the birds as you would really see them in the field. I started off by going through the Cecil 4, the previous edition, and in particular looking at the, the artwork and deciding which artwork we could, we could keep for Cecil 5 and which we thought would be better to just do, redo entirely. In particular the raptors which had been used since um, the beginning of, of the Cecil books the, from the first edition, um, Peter Heyman's plates, we felt uh, could do with a, a bit of a makeover. Pippa tracked down Alan Harris and he agreed to do the, the raptors for us. Initially we were going to leave the falcons and kestrels, however later on we decided to replace all of the raptors. Alan Harris is a well-known UK-based artist and birder who has illustrated numerous identification guides and handbooks. He's best known for his meticulous plates in many European and Asian field guides. One of the other areas that needed improvement was the distribution maps. Uh, bird, bird distributions have changed, uh, ranges have extended or shifted with climate change, and we, since the last publication of, of Sassel, we have over 10 years of atlasing data. This new edition, of course, has lots of new artwork. I think 800 or so new, new illustrations. And the big innovation in this new one, of course, is the barcoding of the call so that they can picked up, be picked up by a smartphone. The other big new thing on the book, of course, is the addition of two new co-authors. Uh, I think the original cohort of authors of Sassel uh, were getting a little long in the tooth and it's been great to work with uh, the new co-authors, in particular Dom Rollinson's made a huge impact with his enthusiasm and energy and uh, the new book is definitely a testament to his and Neil's contributions. So this is my first experience authoring a book. Uh, it's, it's been a great experience all around, uh, I've really enjoyed it. It has been a lot of hard work, um, but uh, I've enjoyed working with the team from Strike Nature. Uh, I've gained a lot of insight into just exactly what goes behind uh, putting a, a book together like this, and um, and just how much uh, blood, sweat, and tears goes into it all. So it's been it's been hard work and it's been a, a long process, but the amount that you learn while preparing plates like this is just. Um, unparalleled and it's been a real honor um, having been involved with, with Sassel 5. If someone was to tell 11 year old me that 27 years later I would be painting the cover for um, Sassel 5, I would never have believed him. <laughs>